Today I'm going to be uh, heading back home. I'm in the swamps and I wanted to record my, my way back to the road. We're actually not so far. And I was out here exploring, trying to find another place to fish. And I gone a little bit too far. I saw some things that I want to show you and uh, basically give you a little breakdown of what it's like to uh, be out here on the edges of Lake Baikal. I know that it looks very civilized because there's power lines, but I assure you that those power lines can be deceiving because it's actually quite dangerous where I'm standing right now. I'm actually sinking as I'm talking. Um, so let's turn the camera around. I want to give you uh, basically a scenario. You're walking out here and you don't know the land. This looks like solid ground because I'm basically bouncing on it. But if you take a wrong step, I'm shaking the ground. I want to show you just how deep this ground is. It is very unstable. It is very wet. It's been here for thousands of years. The snow has been covering on top. It has melted and has made the ground basically water. Now, you can see this uh, stick here is uh, almost to my neck, almost to my chin, right? As I'm standing uh, next to it. I am 5'7". I'm not that tall, but I assure you, if I were to sink up to my shoulders in soil, I would not be able to come out. Now, let's sink this into the ground. Here's the stick. Let's just put it there and just give it a few pushes. Well, I mean, the, my weight alone would be a lot. You see how easily that goes down? Look at that. And look as it comes out, it's completely wet because it's water down there. You see the water coming off the tree. It is unbelievable how dangerous it is to be out here. Look at this. You just push it down, right? Could you imagine falling into that? The sort of death you would have. I'm sitting here because I want you to see the mosquitoes. There's not that many like there would be in other regions because here we have a little bit too much wind. It's a little bit colder. But I will assure you if you're up to your shoulders in mud, these mosquitoes would eat your face alive. You would probably have nothing left by the morning. Um, I'm going to continue walking. Holy moly. I just stepped into the wrong place. I mean, what I'm doing now is very dangerous. You shouldn't actually be recording and walking. Let me just find my path. I'm pretty scared. I want to show you more animals. It's very important that you know where you're stepping out here. Oh, check it out. This is another thing I wanted to show you. If you're unlucky enough to land on top of this, my friends, look at this. Unbelievable, right? I mean, I'm disturbing them, but they'll get their things together soon enough. I just want to show you. Uh, well, these look like ant eggs. Ah, uh, they're already attacking the knife. So out here in the swamps, not only is there mosquitoes, but if you're walking and you're exposed, if I wasn't wearing my swamp legs, I mean, these guys are vicious. These guys are absolutely vicious. They want to attack my knife. You can see there's thousands of them, tens of thousands. I've uh, opened up their chambers and they're not happy. Don't worry, there's about 100,000 of these mounds out here in the swampland. Uh, I'm not ruining the ecosystem at all by doing this. Now let's clean the knife. Look at the knife, guys. They are working towards my hand. I actually have to let it go and reset. I'm going to turn the camera off and clean that knife. It smells amazing. They make their... Ah, I'm getting bit. <laughs> These guys are everywhere defending their colony. I've already been bit a few times. I just want to get a last look. Okay, I've been bit by mosquitoes and just bit by ants, making my way out. Um, as I said, these things are scattered all over the swampland. And uh, if you come to a place like this, 
do not record while you're uh, walking because any step, I mean, grabbing anything can just be a big mistake. Lucky for you, I am a trained professional. <laughs> I think I am. Look at this ground. I'm gonna step on the branches. Whoa. Look how much the floor shakes. The floor is shaking actually all the way across where I try to step. So I'm not going to go through here. I'm gonna work around where there's trees. That should be stronger soil there and wrap around. All right, here we go. Here's a better pathing. A lot of the places that look like people walk on, it's actually not a road, but a place where perhaps maybe even animals. Whoa, my foot just sunk in there. Maybe animals are around here. I am uh, pretty concerned about my location. We only have to get to the train tracks and we'll be fine. Where the river, I mean, where the lake ends. You see the ground moving over there? That's because I'm stepping on it here. Oh, I was unable to cross through that path. I found a field of flowers where the soil looks much harder and stronger. That is a little bit too close to the, to the lake. Here, I have no problems. All right. It seems that here, people have walked. Of course, now I start to see a little bit less vegetation. Where I try to cross, look how dumb I am, guys. I was going in the wrong direction. This is all ultimately just water. A little bit of topsoil, but I could have died there. The further you are away from the water source, the better off you are. Here we go. Okay, we found, an, I mean, there's so many of these mounds, guys. There's so many of them. Look at them. They are vicious. I've already been bit by them. We continue our walk in the swamplands. It's good to walk on the base and avoid holes like this. There's another mound of ants and they're scattered all over this place. If you're unlucky enough to be consumed by them, you're going to have a bad time. If you've wondered where I've been, this is exactly where I've been. I have uh, a friend who's coming from the United States. I'm very happy to announce this. He's actually flying to Mongolia and I'm bringing him, I'm bringing him into Russia. Um, I'm going to show him uh, Ulaanbaatar before we go into Russia. I'm gonna show him Sludanka and Irkutsk. And I'll be making videos about this. He's going to be the first person who I know of that comes through Mongolia into Russia after all these things have started. And if you want to visit Siberia, I think that it is the best route to take. Right now, currently, I have to get out of this swamp. You see that wind? That wind keeps the mosquitoes away. Sorry for the wind noise, but just letting you know, they're not trying to stick around and bite anything because they'll be flying around. I can see the train tracks from here. We're almost out. 
Here there's even a path. Now, do not follow paths that are made by man too often because more often than not, they've already been stepped on way too many times and they're very dangerous, very loose. I'm doing a mistake here by walking on this path. You see this? This marsh, very nasty swamp. We're walking on the edge here. It's very dangerous terrain there. Look how dense the forest is at the entrance. And by the way, I am of course armed with my knife that was giving also like my Gorka and my sack by Lars from Survival Russia. So thank you so much my friend again as I'm making my way out here trying to kill mosquitoes. <laughs> this thing works just... I just killed him a damn mosquito, look at that. Ninja. A lot of people say, oh but you live in a big town. You don't live in the wilderness. And you know what? Sure, there's civilization, there's a road there, there's a train. But come out here. I guarantee you, if I take you where I was, you'll get lost on the way back. Because this place is unforgiving. It's, uh, it's a little paradise of hell. <laughs> little paradise of hell. Whoa, look how deep that one was. Oh, actually, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. There we go. There's the train tracks. Here's where I came in through. I try my best to drop a lot of grass to mark where I walked. Well, I know it was a short video, but it was a very informative video, letting you know what I've been doing, where I've been doing it, how I've been doing it. I truly enjoy being out here I go to Mongolia next week to pick up a friend and then videos will restart regularly after that. I have some ideas that I want to talk about. I haven't sat down and talked about some topics like I used to. That's something that I want to do again. If you enjoyed looking at the Siberian wilderness, please do consider subscribing and maybe liking the video. If you didn't like it, comment. Tell me why you didn't like it. It's not a problem. Some crazy seagulls out there. Goodbye.